Greetings. Here is a quick mix trick that I like to do with a spicy EQ plugin like Amber by Acoustica. I've got a full mix of a track loaded up here that I'm going to use to show this off very quickly. These developers are often pretty vague and mysterious in their own descriptions of their plugins, but I'm pretty sure this thing is meant to be emulating an Avalon hardware EQ. I'm not 100% certain, but it's probably something like the Avalon Vacuum Tube 700 series. But anyway, I like to think of this as like an Ultra HD slash 4K button for my mixes. Essentially, what I'm going to do is add a substantial amount of very high-end EQ to my my entire mix with this plugin and when you do that uh, something quite interesting happens. So at the moment I'm playing through this without the amber processing on and I'm also just showing the rest of the plugins that I have on my mix bus or my master out. And you can probably hear that the levels of my mix are relatively well balanced but it still seems a bit muddy or like something is missing and a temptation or a first thought here might be to start EQing the lower or the mid-range registers of the mix to try and tackle some of that muddiness that we're perceiving but that is not always the best solution to go sometimes it can be difficult to tell exactly what is missing as well and sometimes you can be listening to your mix and just being like for whatever reason I'm not quite sure why it's not popping out of the speakers in the way that I want it to and it's like you know sometimes things feel flat and it can be difficult to understand why that is so let's see what happens when I put this EQ on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set its frequency band to the highest possible one, which is 25k, and I'm going to boost that up by the maximum value, which is 24 dB, which seems insane, but bear with, and leave the setting on a shelf. And then if I engage it, So you can probably hear with Amber disengaged now how much difference it actually makes. Suddenly it's possible to perceive so much more detail in the mix and this simple singular move has done an enormous amount seemingly to how well everything is sitting with each other and just in terms of it popping out of the speakers. I think it's done something really interesting that is like and not necessarily a process that you would think would do this but it just makes it pop right and especially if you're listening to this on monitors or even on a phone speaker you will hear the difference suddenly coming out of the phone with so much more energy. So what I'm attempting to do here is to recreate that boost or the EQ curve that Amber is doing but using a stock plugin like Logic's built-in channel EQ. And the issue with it is I'm having to apply quite a different curve and it's a different boost to get the same sort of sound. But it's also like to get near it, I'm having to boost an area that I don't really want to boost. And it's kind of creating a digital, harsh and kind of brittle sound on the top end. And this is kind of the thing, I think, anyway, about like the difference between EQ plugins. Like, you know, something that's modelled on an analogue piece of hardware. It just boosts in a much more musical way when you're doing kind of extreme things like this. But yeah, I think something like this is an interesting exercise to kind of show off what it is these expensive kind of analog modelled spicy plugins actually do. Now if you can, in your mixing, I think the best practice is to try and achieve the correct amount of high end for your mix by doing this individually or on your instrument groups rather than applying this process to the entire mix in one go. But this is handy if you don't have the beefiest CPU because Amber, for example, is quite a demanding plugin. I guess no thanks to that DRM. But uh, yeah, so it kind of doesn't tolerate, I can only really have two or three of them open in a mix before I start getting system overloads. So you might find it difficult to have loads of them open unless you've got a beefy computer basically. So I think it's just a really quick useful way to check if your mix has the right amount of top end presence in it. You know if you put amber on and it sounds really harsh and it's too intense then you know that your mix probably has the right amount of air and presence in it versus if it does a thing like this. Then that is just quite useful for telling you what your mix needs. Yeah, I think it's actually just, it's kind of crazy how much it actually does. It's really brought out the kick. The bass sounds gnarlier and there's more detail in the tone of that, which is great. It really helps the presence of my guitar part, bringing out the attack of the notes that I'm playing somehow a bit more.
and you can hear that it brings out the snare a lot more. The snare really cracks and you can hear um, the ghost note detail a lot more in the drum part. Yeah, it's just crazy. So why I say it's like HD 4K music, right? It's like the, it is almost like the musical or the audio equivalent of the difference between 360p and 1080p video, right? It's like, oh my God, suddenly all this detail is perceivable. So just to wrap this video up, I'm going to do a quick playthrough of another song and I'm going to turn Amber on and off as it's playing through. This is my cover version of Force Your Way from Final Fantasy VIII by Nobuo Uematsu. I'm going to shut up and try not to talk over this too much so you can actually hear what is going on. For me, Amber is doing something really pleasing to those kind of gnarly, Doom-inspired, heavy bass synth textures. Brings out all the top-end detail of all those clicks. I think it's awesome. Also really helps that lead synth out to have a lot more bite. going to skip ahead forward this part to a bit where some electric guitars come in just so you can hear what it does to the tone of these as well. Anyway, I hope this has been an interesting tip or is helpful for anybody else's mixing journey. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully catch you in the next one and yeah, take it easy.